You're watching NY7 Radio on Miami Community Radio. Josie Vett. I am a singer songwriter from Miami, Florida. Um, honestly, I've been doing this for two years now. Um, I'm very excited to share some of my songs with you. I'm excited to talk about my journey, the trials and tribulations of my life, my healing process. A lot of these songs are very, very old. They're songs that I wrote when I was going through a really, really, really toxic, messed up breakup. And I just hope you guys enjoy. All of this comes straight from my heart, straight from my soul. And yeah, I'm excited to talk about it. So what inspired me to start playing and making music? Um, as I stated earlier, um, about three years ago, I was in a very, very toxic relationship, um, which I am so happy that everything happened the way that it did happen because I learned so much from it. Um, I didn't feel free to be myself in that relationship. Therefore, when it ended, I felt like I was able to start doing the things that I felt like I was holding back on. And music was definitely one of them. I I just felt empowered, I felt inspired, and as sad as it sounds, I was just broken. And there's that saying that, you know, you write your best stuff on your worst days. And for me, that's definitely so true, so accurate. I had so much to work with, so much material. I had so much to say that I just grabbed pen and paper and I got to work. I met this young, lovely young lady <laughs> and her name is Elio. And she's an amazing producer, an amazing, talented human being overall. I slid in her DM. I said, hey, I see you make music. I do music too let's work and then from there it was like magic and it was really awesome 
and it just flowed so beautifully and it's something that i'm truly grateful for because here i am now making music still and just trying to be who i feel i'm destined to be this song is my baby all the songs that i have are my baby but this song is truly art for me it truly means the world to me oh man i don't even know where to start this song is a song that i wrote by myself in my room i was having a shit day and i had the beat sitting in my files poor elio she sends me so many beats and i just have them creating collecting dust but i work on it one day at a time one day at a time so she sent me this one beat and i was like this is beautiful what do i do with this i want to match the energy i want to match how beautiful that beat is with what i'm gonna write how i'm gonna sing it how i'm gonna melodize with it so definitely a song that just it 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 broke me um one day i was meditating and in the midst of meditating this was in my era where i was still getting over my um my ex-girlfriend my only girlfriend <laughs> um it, it it really messed with me mentally and i was struggling to find myself and really determine who the fuck i am because unfortunately i lost myself in that relationship and i don't mean to bring that up but it's just such a big part of my journey my life and my music journey you know it's going to be brought up unfortunately you know now i don't have bad blood but i'm <laughs> it's not about that um that night i was just doing a lot of self realizations and reflecting on who who i am who is jessica who is jazzy vet and the things that i've been through and how tough and how thick my skin can be in a world that is really really like shady and messed up and the people who have pretended to be there for me but they're really not and just at the end of the day to know that it's me with me so this song is called me to me cuz it's from me to me in parentheses it's also to you too because if you can relate to it i'm more than happy to share this song to you too so it's definitely one that I, as I meditated, as I was stating, um, I got on my yoga mat, I turned around and I played the beat. I started writing and I couldn't stop. It was like, I kept writing, kept writing. In the midst of writing, I had a literal panic attack. I was crying, crying, crying. There was so many tears on that notebook, but it meant something to me. It meant the world to me. And I wrote that song, I think, in like two days. And I, I left it chilling. I showed it to Elio, my producer. And she's like, finish this. And so that's exactly what I did. That's exactly what I did. Uh, I took another day and I finished it. And yeah, here's me to me, to you too. She's doing blow Surviving In a world so cold Oh Life tests her But she ain't gon' fall She thinks to herself What am I missing? Only you are you now Girl, just listen She's so Me, me, me to me, 
and I got it, I'm a goddess Life's been rough, but I'll be out it Shit ain't easy, but there ain't no need to be All up in your head Ain't got no time for bad vibes You can keep that shit on that side Going at my own pace Always grateful for a new day And hey Free is a song that I started to, I want to say, create in my mind about a year and some change ago. Um, Then I had a lovely beat, once again, from Alayo, Miss Alayo. And um, I was like, okay, I love this beat. What am I going to say? How am I going to do it? Et cetera, et cetera. So I was like, bingo. I know what I've been creating in my brain. And this beat matches this song. Free is basically one day I realized, you know, after you hurt for so long, one day I came to like my senses. I came and I asked myself, how are you? How are you feeling? And I finally, I felt like I finally let go of that burden of, you know, that whole scenario with the person who I was once with. I felt so fucking liberated. I felt so much happier, so much lighter. I just felt free, free to be me, free to do whatever the hell I wanted, free in the sense of I wasn't trapped and I wasn't trapping my mind thinking and and I don't want to say obsessing but just like I would I would have like a reoccurring nightmares of like this person and like it was just really really bad it it truly messed me up um mentally emotionally spiritually physically and and just one day I realized, holy shit, I'm I'm free. Like I no longer have don't I don't let this person affect me any longer. And it's something that I realized way before, but I actually put the put it put the words to the song. Like the song came alive and it came about. And in the lyrics, you know, everything that I write comes from my heart and soul. If I said it, I meant it, you know, and it was just really nice to come to terms with myself, you know, and where I stood as an individual and how liberating I felt, especially when I'm like liberated, elevated, no longer dictated, skin's glowing, radiating, I'm saying hydrated. And it's just like a promise you know, telling myself that I'm never going to let myself fall in another toxic relationship. And I learned so, so much from that. And I, you know, it just feels so amazing to be free. And I I know a lot of people can relate. I've showed the song to a couple of my friends and they're like, yes, like, yes, I relate. And I love that. Again, I just make music to relate to the world, to everybody. Free is special to me.
liberated, elevated, no longer dictated, skin's glowing, radiating, I'm staying hydrated, I'm damn just to feel good, to be myself, I'll be damned if I let another affect my mental health, no longer attached to what doesn't serve me, I'm with myself now, and that girl deserves me. Thank you for tuning in to NY7 Radio. Not only am I an artist, but I am also Jess Abed's producer. Now, I met Jess in 2021. She slid into my DMs, as you may have heard. And honestly, the rest was history. Not only have I gained a musical partner, but I gained a best friend along the way. And it was definitely during a time that I wasn't feeling very inspired to work on music I feel like the timing was just honestly very perfect Um, the first beat that I ever sent her which is now the song I will rise I was about to throw out that beat there's a lot of beats that I make that sometimes I'm just like "Mm, they're not the best Um, but she found something in it and she sang a melody over it and she created such a beautiful song Oh my god, it's Jessica from Atomic Pleasures. Oh my god, it's Elio from Atomic Pleasures. Holy shit! I truly admire the way that she creates melodies over the beats that I sent her. To be honest, I'm surprised myself because I'm just like, you haven't been doing this your whole life? And it's kind of hard to believe that she hasn't like pursued it as hard as she is now. But she comes up with just like the most amazing structures and lyrics and it makes it inspires me to continue to produce we have a whole album that's about to come out this year um her debut album and i'm really excited for you guys to hear it because a lot of these songs that you're hearing right now are going to be on that album and much more so much so much more to be honest it's very beautiful to see where we started and where we're headed and where she is right now and the progress and everything that she has been doing in her artistic career and I'm just very happy to be a part of it and to help her along in her journey. So for That's Wild, that song, I was actually dating another girl. I'm saying like a lot of the things that I have been through, I just write it, man. I just write it and sing it. And it's just like, <laughs> it really is like life lessons. They are all life lessons. That song is about a young lady that I I was into. Um, you know, you date, it works, it flows or it goes, baby. And it is what it is at the end of the day. And it's totally okay. You know, I, I'm i very good at the art of letting go. I'm very aware that everything in life is temporary. Um, and if it sticks, that's great. If it doesn't, that's great. Everything is for a reason. I believe in divine timing. It's just, it's just so much that, you know, I would be here all day. <laughs> but... That's Wild is basically a song about a girl who was into me, who was texting me every day. She was super into me, into me, into me. We went on a date. She got a little lit. I'm not going to get so much into details, but she just switched up on me after. And I don't like to be um, 
a dismissive person. I don't like to be like, oh, she's crazy. That's crazy. You know, I feel like that's what a fuck boy would do or say like, oh, that bitch crazy or whatever. I'm definitely not that. I try my best to be as understanding as possible to just be like, okay, why did you do this? What happened? How did that make you feel? Explain to me because I just I like to communicate. So for me, once this person switched up, it was just like, what happened? Um, like, talk to me. Like, why don't you talk to me? And that's how the song goes. And it's just like, you, you said all these things you, you did. And, and for what? For what? For me, I'm very um, straightforward. Like, if you just want to be like, fuck buddies, you know, we can talk it out. Maybe I'll say yes. Maybe I'll say no. You know, it is what it is. We're adults. I'm an adult woman and it just it was really whack the way that she went about things because she just ended up ignoring me, I want to say, for like four days. And then we spoke and stuff. But she was definitely the inspiration behind that. Um, I wasn't too in my feels. It just flowed to me naturally, like the words and the things that basically I wanted to tell her. I told to my page like I spoke on it on paper and I was just like, okay, this is what it is. And for me, <clears throat> it's called, like, for me, it's just, it's like wild. Like, you say all these things and then it's it, like, that's wild. Like, that's wild to me that you're going to switch up. But I mean, it's nothing new. You know, people do that every day and I'm totally okay with it. But that's wild. It's just like, all right, sis, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to do what you want and talk to the hand at this point. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy. That's wild. Talk to me. Why don't you talk to me? You acting funny oh that's wild company you said you wanted my company don't really know what you want from me that's why you tell me that you want me then change your mind it's really okay boo i promise it's fine but don't talk a big game girl when you're lying, you're really just wasting both of our time Wanna know the worst part of it all You really did some witchcraft to make me fall Cause I don't catch feelings this easy It's true, please believe me But now you don't see me No, now you don't see me Talk to me Why don't you talk to me You acting funny that shit's wild <laughs> Company You said you wanted my company Don't really know what you want from me That shit's wild You should be ashamed You be in a lame Ain't what you claim We can both play this game But I ain't trying to deal with all that Whoa, whoa Don't complain You had your chance And you blew it Be strong You'll get through it huh. That's wild Talk to Why don't you Talk to the hand at this point don't even call me that's wild you wild company you said you wanted my company well baby it's a little late you see he was wild you was wild my creative process that's funny Ah, uh, well, um, so yeah, I have been doing this for just two years and some change now and my creative process. So this, 
my album, which I'm working on an album right now, um, it's about love, heartbreak, the girls I've dated, the things I've been through, self-reflection, self-realization, healing, and a bunch of things. Um, one of my favorite places to write and to make music and to melodize is in my car. Um, Alayo will send me a beat and I start blasting it and I just start vibing. Like I just start vibing. And once I'm in that flow, I just start melodizing. I start coming up with lyrics in my head. I start realizing that, okay, this is a bop. Like this is something that comes from my heart. And I know that a lot of people are able to relate, um, I was infatuated with some girl and she was an inspiration. I wasn't into another girl and she was an, an inspiration. Um, I was having a whole attack, you know, for and by myself. And that was an inspiration. Every day I'm just simply inspired by my day-to-day -day activities and what goes on in my life. And I'm like, I could make a song about this. <laughs> so that's definitely my inspiration. Uf, afortunada. Ay, Dios mío. ¿Dónde empiezo? Well, I am a very, very Latina mommy. Um, I do like making Spanish songs as well. This song, I don't know if it's going to be on my album. Um, probably, probably not. I might have an EP because I have another Spanish song. That's called Baila, and that one is super fun, super dancey, summer vibes. I got things coming. But um, Afortunada, it's not about a particular, a particular woman or person. It's just about probably the women that I've been with, um, the girls, you know, the women that I've dated, and how each and every one of them are just so beautiful in my eyes and you know, there's more than just the physical aspect. There's there's mental stimulation, spiritual stimulation, and then there's the physical, of course. But um, I'm not going to lie. This song is a very sexy, sexual Spanish song. Um, I had the beat play. I was in the studio with Elayo. <laughs> You're going to hear her name a lot. Um, and she played the song and I was like hell yeah that it was just so sexy the way that it built up and it just came to me it flowed so naturally you know we were just having a great time in the studio doing what we do best in creating and I just sat there and, and thought of you know a like a woman you know and and what I would say to a woman and what I would say to all the women that I've had the pleasure of meeting dating etc and it's basically like yes woman you are beautiful you're beautiful <laughs> excuse me um you are sexy you are worthy you are art you are art and I'm here for it and I want it and I will be a gentleman because I am a gentleman and I'm here to please you in each and every way not just in one way in several ways and yeah that song is very sensual if you speak spanish you know if you don't it's okay um try to translate it on google translate <laughs> um but yeah fortunada is basically just saying how lucky how blessed am i to be able to to have a piece of you shorty like to be able to be there done that and how I admire you as a beautiful woman and how you are treasured and how you are respected and how, you know, how lucky I am. Just how lucky. Because that's what afortunada means. How lucky. So, yeah, afortunada. That one's a sexy bop. <laughs> Poder probarte 
me fascina Eres puro arte oh. Oh. Qué chula, chula, ay, qué chulería Me vuelves loca cuando tú me miras Limpio mi boca porque es tu cía Y yo soy tuya y tú eres mía Y contigo yo voy donde sea Te voy a tocar en la mejor manera Dichosa tú porque no soy cualquiera Voy a enamorarte Poder probarte Tú me fascinas Eres puro arte oh, 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 oh. Deja probarte Calentarte Me tienes en tus manos Me va a salir muy caro Vemos el amanecer Me vuelves loca mujer Te voy a complacer Estás para beber, me vuelves loca, bebé. Eres puro arte, qué bendición, qué bendición, qué bendición, qué, qué bendición poder probarte, me fascina. Eres puro arte uh. Eres arte Eres arte Para probarte Eres puro arte So one of my favorite um, performances was at this location called Hamburger Mary's. Shout out to Hamburger Mary's and shout out to Les Moon and Beautiful Sublime. You know who you are. I have to shout you out because I headlined that show and it was really great. Um, there was a bunch, a bunch of beautiful, beautiful humans. Um, I am uh, a lesbian, and I'm very happy to be who I am. I am a proud queer woman, and I'll scream that from the mountaintops. So Les Moon is for queer women, somewhere we can go and create art, um, do open mic, uh, do open poetry, spoken word, um, a lot of talented, talented, beautiful women playing their instruments, singing their songs, just being creative overall. And... Um, that show really was one for the books. Um, the funny thing about that show is I didn't have voice that day, all day. And I was freaking out. I was like, how am I going to do this? What's going to happen? I just wanted to do a good job. I wanted to show all my friends and loved ones that, you know, I could rock out. And I really just wanted to be the best performer that I could be. And so I did just that. I was able to connect with the audience. I was able to talk. It was truly a magical night. Everyone was so amazing, so supportive. I even had dollars rain on me. <laughs> I gave a little lap dance. You know, it was it was just super fun. And that's what I look for in my performances. Fun. A fun atmosphere, a good crowd, a good vibe. And yeah, it was definitely one for the books. Okay. 
no era fe, que más de esa vaina, esa no era el culo, no era fe. What's next for Jazzy Vat? Well, I do have a couple things that 
I have in the works. Right now, I'm very, very, very excited to be performing at Miami Beach Pride. As I stated, you know, I am a happy queer woman. And um, Pride is definitely something that I'm looking forward to. So at the Capital One Community Stage on April 13th, which is Saturday at 3 o'clock, I will be performing. And I'm super excited, super nervous, more excited than anything. But um, to just go out there and shine and sing my songs and connect with the audience and have fun and probably be super hot because we know Miami is so hot. I'm probably going to be sweating my ass off, but it's okay. Um so yeah, that I'm looking forward to that. I'm also working on an album. Now, these songs that I have sang for you guys um are songs that are in my album. Um I have been working on some of these for years. Some of them are new. It's just such a creative process and the thing about me, I'm just such a perfectionist and I'm so nitpicky and I feel like at times we are our biggest critics. So I just want to make sure that it's perfect, even though I know nothing in this world is perfect, but I am just so very much looking forward to my album and the songs that are on it. And I don't know, I just hope that Everyone that listens to it fucks with it and like it and they can relate to it and they vibe and I just want to make people happy with my lyrics and my voice and the music. So yeah. So for Peace of My Soul, um that song is my baby i just i really do love all my songs i really really treasure each and every one of them um i remember that week i was sick and i had poor Elio come and lug all her shit all her equipment to my apartment and we had like a little mini studio in my living room and it was really awesome. And I just, you know, I remember taking that whole day just creating. We were creating so, so many things, so much music. And I was like, make me something soulful, make me something beautiful, something cool, something different, you know. And she, she was like, okay, cool. Usually she always delivers. And um, I just remember being in my room and um, I hear like this distorted voice and it was singing, giving every piece of my soul, swear you don't know how to treat me, no. And I was like, wow. I remember yelling from my room to the living room, hey, hey, I love that. And she's like, you like that? I was like, yes. So it was a little sample. And from that sample, came peace of my soul she ended up creating all the the whole beat to it um i told her i want this i want that i want more strings and she did it and it just came out so beautifully and here i am with yet again another beat and what am i gonna do with this how am i gonna live up to this beautiful beautiful instrumental like this beautiful beat what am i gonna say so for me, at that moment, and it's funny because, you know, earlier I'm talking about my inspirations and what helps me in my creative process. And, you know, it's just so funny because at that moment, I wasn't going through anything. It just, I literally, sometimes things just come out. You know, it just comes, I just wrote out my ass. Like, it just happened. And, um, you know, listening to that hook from that um, sample I'm like, okay, bet, like, this is going to be a song where, you know, you gave a lot of you and it wasn't reciprocated because you don't know how to treat me. And, you know, we've been there and done that. So, yeah, I did put myself in um, that situation where I've been many, many times where I wasn't appreciated or, you know, loved properly, treated prop properly. But I really had to tap into that because in that moment, as I stated, I wasn't going through anything. I was actually happy. I was dating a girl happy. Like I was just chilling. I wasn't in no heartbreak position at that time. And for me, I was just like, 
you know, let's just say this. I'm just going to say that. And it worked and it fit beautifully. And it's a song that, you know, all my songs come from a place deep, deep inside of me. And they mean so much to me. And I just can't express how creating makes me feel. And this song, you know, is very, very soulful. And I belt out and I just let it all out. I was like, you know what? I'm going to have this song be ah, like, and I just wanted it to let it all out. And that's how I came about with that song. So peace of my soul. Giving every piece of my soul So you don't know How to treat me, no Giving every piece of my soul So you don't know How to treat me, no Now that it's all done I'm in different one more things But I knew I was just that better is actually <laughs> the background to that song and what inspired me is pretty fucking hilarious as i look back i wrote new better i want to say like two it was two years ago um she was the first girl that i was truly falling for um i was open to opening up my heart to someone else to see where you know that could have gone we did the typical lesbian thing where you know in two weeks good old lesbian fashion in two weeks we were like saying the whole ah, i don't think i'm falling in love and there was a lot of lust a lot of a lot of things I will say I still think this person is a magnificent person. I never had any, like, bad blood with her or anything. 
um shit just didn't work out you know we just it didn't work out and it's totally fine you know it is what it is but it's just such a funny story because she did inspire me to write i want to say like two or three songs so she was just so great at like talking and communicating until she wasn't but it's fine as i stated um so I just remember writing another song that I have that's called Plunge. And it's like, sitting here, you got me smiling at my phone. And I'm like, no lie, girl, you have my mind blown. Like a whole bunch of cute gay stuff. And I, again, I was I was falling for this girl. And within the same week, in like three, four days later, she like, totally switched up it was just it was not good and and I got so in my feelings and it's just so fucking funny to me that like four days later like in the same week that I wrote a love song about this girl I wrote knew better and I'm just like damn like can a sister catch a break so yeah I'm like I guess we got beef yeah me and Cupid because damn Cupid Cupid be shooting arrows at the right at the wrong people uh, for me and again there's always uh, blessings in everything that happens I'm happy that everything has happened the way it has because it has led me to this point it has inspired me to write stuff that you know it's just it's it's a very spiritual feeling that I feel when I'm able to express myself on these songs and hear it back and it makes me so happy but yeah, that's that's the funny part about that song, New Better. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed my little session, um, me sharing a piece of my life 
with you guys you know all of this for me is still fairly new um it, it doesn't take a lot but it does take some some work for me to be vulnerable and open especially to the public um i hope you guys enjoy everything that you know i talked about that i explained my songs etc all of this means so so much to me i feel so blessed so grateful to just live my life the way that i'm living it and be happy because that's what it's all about and if if any of you guys can relate to any of my music please reach out to me let me know i love hearing feedback I love, you know, I love getting to know someone else's story and how they relate to my story. You know, we've all been there. We've all been hurt. We've all been happy. We've all been dating, fucking, you know, things that come with our life. And this has been great. And I'm truly, truly honored um, to share, just to share with you guys. Once again, my name is Jazzy Vet. You can follow me on Instagram, uh, Jazzy Vet underscore underscore. And follow my music page, um, Jazzy Vet underscore music underscore. And thank you so very much. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. And yeah, take care. <laughs>